Punk Revolution now! Hey everyone, today I want to make a video on something that has been on my mind a lot recently. It's pretty disturbing. It's actually been a little depressing for me. Um, but there's a lot of misinformation online right now about it going around, so I thought it would be useful for me to make a video about it. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, right now there is a pretty terrible situation in the United States where there are literally thousands of big exotic cats who are living pretty terrible lives. They spend their whole lives being essentially tortured for, for profits, okay? So when they're born, they're torn away from their mothers, which is of course a very painful experience for both the mother and the cub. They're put in tiny little cages, horrible living conditions, aren't fed right, they get sick, they, they get euthanized, they can be sold in a market that's very deregulated to strangers who, who knows what the hell they're gonna do. They could kill it for fun, they could put it in a tiny room their whole life. These animals are essentially being exploited in many different ways for profits. I encourage you to YouTube cub petting if you wanna just take a tiny glimpse into this world of widespread animal abuse in the United States that is very deregulated, very disturbing stuff. I was really excited for this documentary to come out t called Tiger King, which I was kind of hoping would be sort of like blackfish for tigers. You know, freaking blackfish kind of revolutionized how people think about SeaWorld and the abuse that these whales go through. No one really knew about that at all before blackfish, and I was hoping that the Tiger King documentary would be basically the same thing for tigers. But unfortunately, this documentary has been one of the most disturbing, disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. This documentary can leave the viewer who is not familiar with this topic thinking that the abusers of these animals are good people, are heroes, while people who are volunteering and working their ass off and putting their life on the fucking line to stop this abuse are bad people. They only give the perspective of the abusers throughout this documentary. 90% of the perspective is the abusers. And the abusers are con men. They're sociopaths. They make money torturing animals. Of course, they'll say anything they need to make them seem like good guys. So, oh, you know, no, it's all fun here. It's all, look, it's the cub. Feel free to pet the cub. It's all fun. Just bullshit. And they barely show any of the abuse at all. You can kind of look in the background and see the, the, the tigers in these tiny cages and the terrible living conditions. But it's just in the background. They don't explain it. They don't refute the many lies of these con men throughout the documentary. It's a documentary that glorifies the abuse of animals for profit, which makes the people who made this documentary just as terrible and abusive to the animals as people like Joe Exotic. They even spent an entire episode of the seven, I think it's seven episodes, one episode entirely dedicated to exploring this complete nonsense theory that a founder of a nonprofit dedicated to stopping the abuse of animals might have killed someone 20 years ago, which is complete horseshit. There was no, they didn't give any evidence. They interviewed a bunch of people who had a personal vendetta against her and they made an entire episode about it. You should have been using that episode to exploring the abuse of the animals, educating people, helping these animals. But you wanted to make a fucking nonsense bullshit story for a scandal that makes the people who are trying to stop the abuse of animals look bad. Why would you do that? This is Joe Exotic. He is someone who spent his entire life profiting off the abuse of animals and ended up going to jail for over 20 years for abusing these animals and for trying to have someone killed who was trying to put a stop to the abuse of animals that he was using to make money. Clearly a very terrible person Really objectively, there's no debating that if you spend your entire life making money off torturing animals and you try to kill someone who is trying to stop you from hurting these animals, you are a scumbag. Cardi B said she wants to make a GoFundMe to get this guy out of jail because she watched this documentary. That is how horrible of a job this documentary has done. That is disgusting on levels I cannot even wrap my head around. You can watch the documentary if you want. It is very entertaining. There's a reason a lot of people are watching it right now. But if you do, I highly recommend you do your best to educate yourself on the abuse these animals are going through because really that's more important than any sort of fun enjoyment you get for, for a few days of binging a TV show. And I also uh, advise you that you you know, let people know who watched the documentary. Hey, by the way, um, this abuse they go through is really terrible. The documentary didn't show you that, but we should actually bring a stop to the abuse of these animals. So, um, yeah, I mean, take, just research a little bit more, look up cub petting, investigate it. Um, 
And yeah, I mean, this is why we need a freaking punk revolution now. This is what crap they're putting on Netflix. That is a sign that we are, you know, in, we're in the midst of a pandemic. This is the last thing I want to see right now. It's like just really depressing stuff. So thanks for watching. <sighs> Let's fight for the animals, guys. Punk revolution now.